Hi everyone, welcome back to another one of my CamBot videos. Um, this week I've done some changes to the CamBot, uh, mostly in software, but I did do some hardware changes. Uh, mainly I, I uh, put it on a different tripod. This one's for a laser, and I got this tripod at a garage sale for uh, two bucks. Um, it's a lot more stable than the other tripod, so uh, hopefully this will get it to, the vibration problems to go away. Now the other thing I did is, let's see if I can get that in, focus that in, is the uh, limit switches here. Um, these tell uh, the computer where the camera is when it self calibrates. Um, when the camera gets to a certain point, like right there, it knows that it's hit the extreme left, and then it'll go back and find center. It's same for the tilt. Um, the tilt mechanism has the same thing. Uh, it doesn't really want to move right now. Um, I see the other thing is I uh, put a different camera mount on it. Let's zoom in on that. Where's the zoom? Whoops. Nope. Um, let's see. Yeah, you can see the mount there. This is a professional mount, um, and it's made for a bigger camera. I've got the GoPro on there now, but uh, this camera mount's made for. Uh, um, actually, the camera I'm shooting the video now is made to go on there, but I obviously I can't put it there yet. So um, uh, made that change. I wrote some new software. The uh, camera is a lot more stable now, and what I'm going to go ahead and show you right now is uh, when it calibrates itself. So let's see. Uh, kind of get it into position. Point it. All right. And all right. Now this will go through self calibration. So it pans all the way to the left. Uh, finds its uh, limit switch. It'll just go to center, and now it'll pan down, or tilt down, uh, and then come up, find center. Now it's going to lock in at the uh, infrared target, and <clears throat> this is an infrared target. And you can see I got the, the uh, movement of the camera pretty smooth. and it'll follow that all day long. Now I've gone um, I guess about 15 or 20 feet away with this light and it still tracks it. It has to be dead on. It won't, you know, if you get the angle wrong it'll just lose it. Um, but this is just a tiny itty bitty light. Now normally when I pull the light away the camera will stop uh, stop tracking and it'll just go into hibernation mode. I don't know if it's going to do that on the demo yeah, it just went hibernation mode. And it should stay there. Sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why. I put that. And if I pull it away. And it seems to be happy. Alright. Um, it can track multiple objects. Right now I've just got it to track one. Um, but I can uh, edit the software to do multiple objects. I'll show a video in a minute of it tracking two objects. Um, but this is pretty cool. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me uh, let me show you what it looks like on the uh, video screen, the video feed. Okay. This is the video feed from the Pixie camera, and right here I'm pointing a infrared light right at the camera lens. Now this camera has been modified with an infrared filter and lens kit um, so it mostly just picks up infrared light although you can see a little bit of the image. Um, this makes tracking objects a lot easier uh, at least as far as the software goes. Okay here I have the high definition camera mounted to the CamBot and it's going to find its first target and here we go. Now it locked in on that target. Now I can dismiss this target and have it lock on to another one. Um, this is done in software. I'm still working on this bit. 
but uh, so far so good. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So here we see the camera move on to the second target and lock in. Now it'll stay with this target as long as it's told to. This is all done in software right now. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Anyways, uh, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions or anything, there's a link in the uh, more information section to a build thread that tells you how the camera was made. And...